A lot of you guys have requested a video of me talking about our monthly expenses living in London because some of you would want to live in London but because of all the things you've heard London is expensive so I'm going to be telling you how much you would need monthly to be able to live comfortably in London so let's dive into it hey lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Faith Ojone and on this channel I talk about ways you can travel abroad and settle abroad. I share resources on how you can get started. I share latest updates about the UK, how you can settle and live in the UK. So, which is what I'm doing now. So if this is what interests you, hit the subscribe button down below, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I share content like this. Without saying so much, let's get straight into the video. <music> So I'm going to agree with a lot of people that London is quite expensive but you know everything that has its advantage has its disadvantage and all of that so living in London is very very expensive but there are a lot of job opportunities here in London and again you get paid more if you live in London so sort of it sort of balances out at the end of the day because you live in London and they know the cost of living in London is expensive London has a higher minimum wage and employers pay more in London and in London you can get job that will pay you more because most companies have their head office in London so most times they try to make their salary a lot more competitive because you can't have a company in London and you'll be paying somebody a um, small amount nobody will work for you because there are lots of companies willing to pay so much more so there are a lot of job opportunities in London if you are in London it will be hard for you not to get a job honestly except maybe you're looking for a specific kind of job maybe a specialized job but if you live in London getting a job is quite easy because there are lots of job opportunities okay so but again the downside is that it's quite expensive and another good side is that with London you have access to a lot of things a lot of things fun stuff um, community there are lots of black communities in London like a lot of Nigerians in London there are a lot of churches you can go to it's the city center what do you expect so like I feel like living in London is quite easy you don't have to think so much you can live comfortable in London without even owning a car because the transport system is good there are buses everywhere every in fact you can even have a bus um, station in front of your house that's how you know you don't really need a car to live in London you can assess everything easily but again, the downside is it is quite expensive, especially if you have a large family. But if you don't have a large family, it's just you and your spouse or you and one child. Honestly, you guys can stay in London. You guys will be good. So I'm going to be sharing how much we spend monthly to live in London. And we are a family of three, myself, my husband and my daughter. So how much we're spending and who is paying what and all of that so everybody gets to work and contribute to the family so I've written down everything here so that I can just you know share it with you guys number one on my list is rent mm -hmm. of course I'm not paying the rent my husband is paying the rent and currently how much we pay for rent is 1,300 pounds for a two-bedroom apartment fully furnished in London I've made a video about this like sh showing you guys how my fully furnished two bedroom apartment look like if you would want to see the video I'll link it up so you can go and watch the full video and see how the apartment look like I know a lot of people will be like oh London houses are quite small I don't agree with that there are smaller houses in London a lot I agree but you can still get a good sizable house housing in London as well okay so and my husband is the one paying for the rent I do not pay rent so yeah that's out of the way the second one is our electricity bill so during winter we pay between um, around 100 pounds during winter because of course it's cold we're going to turn on the heater and the rest but during summer we pay as low as 50 pounds and we don't we use um, prepaid so most london houses uses prepaid so i think it's better to use prepaid because you get to control what you use having prepaid helps you to monitor how much you're spending and all of that so we spend around um, 100 pounds to 50 pounds depending on the season winter is more expensive than summer and my husband paid for that i don't pay electricity bill then for water bill we pay around 30 to 40 pounds per month 
so my husband paid for that as well the next one is broadband you know internet you get anyone either the talk talk virgin media all of that so we use um, virgin media broadband and i pay for this and it's 24 pounds per month so i just set a direct debit and they take the money every month from my account so it's 24 pounds Council tax, our council tax bill, we pay £185 per month, every month for the size of house we have and all of that. Depending on the kind of housing you're staying, your council tax will vary, okay? You might be paying more or you might be paying less. So for ours, we are paying £185 per month for our council tax bill for a two bedroom apartment in London. Like, I love movies. I love, love movies. Like, I, I'm a movie freak. I can watch movies the whole day. Just give me food, give me TV and Netflix, I'm good. So for Netflix, um, £10 a month, I'm currently paying for Netflix, of course. Do not judge me. I'm paying for Netflix and it's £10 a month. And then we still have Disney Plus. My husband is a hero, hero fan. Like, he loves hero movies, like action, hero, um, you know, Marvel and all of that. So Netflix, I'm sorry, Disney Plus has a lot of Marvel movies like Avengers and um, Thor and um, black panther so we had to pay for disney plus and he is the one paying for disney plus it's eight pounds a month i pay for netflix ten pounds a month the next one is gengen for those of you who have been judging me and saying that i'm paying the smaller amount now moving on to nursery okay so my daughter goes to nursery five times a week and i pay one thousand two hundred pounds so now for that i'm not just paying the smaller ones anyway i pay for nursery because I want to work, okay, and my husband has said that if I want to work, I'm going to pay for nursery, which makes sense because he's paying for every other thing. If I include nursery to the bill, or um, I just want to break the man, he's like, the man does not have a life. <laughs> so I pay for nursery £1,200 every month for five days a week for my daughter. So moving on to the next one, groceries. Okay, so groceries, I do not pay for food. He married me. It is job to feed me. So he pays for it. My husband pays for food, groceries, and roughly for the family of three, we spend 800 pounds every month, both eating out and cooking. So the next one is phone bill. Okay, I wanted to grow my credit score. So that was last year. So I decided to buy my phone on credits. So I went to O2 store, I picked the iPhone 13 Pro Max and i started paying oh, of course i pay my phone bill myself which is 18 pounds every month of course i'm the one that is doing that so nobody is gonna pay so my husband has his own phone bill so he recharge um every month where we call nigeria we call our family back home and you know when you call family you can speak for hours so my for my husband phone bills he spent 20 pounds every month so he uses gift gaff because people have to call nigeria with gift gaff so that's what we use, give gaff for an international Nigerian call. So my husband pays for that. So for transportation, um, every month my husband pays 80 pounds for his you know, transportation. He was paying 80 pounds a month too for train, um, bus and train tickets and all of that. So he pays his own transportation. I pay my own transportation, but because I no longer work, I would take out my own. Anyway, I stopped working not quite long. Okay, so um i'll say included so it's 80 pounds for me 80 pounds for him so now this brings us to our total the total amount of money we spend every month as a family of three is drum rolls please <laughs> three thousand eight hundred and sixty four three thousand eight hundred and sixty four pounds every month mm -hmm. That's how much we spend every month as a family of three to live, breathe, eat, and survive in London. So now the question is, how much should your household income be to be able to live comfortably in London? So let's say your household 3,900, or let us estimate it to 4,000 pounds every month. So let's say you're paying 4,000 pounds every month for all your bills and everything you will need to be earning around £6,000 because you want to save, you're still going to send money back home. So if you're earning £6,000 as a household income in London, 
I think you will be fine because if you spend 4,000 for expense, you have 2,000 left. Let's say you can save 1,500 for your savings and you can send 500 pounds back home as black tax. So 6,000 pounds a month, family hold income. So that's to say you and your wife have to be working to live comfortably like that on six thousand pounds but you can be any more of course but let me just say average with five to six thousand pounds a month you can live comfortably in london so i hope this was very helpful because guys we have come to the end of this video and yes i came out to shoot today because you know what want to see nature okay i'm at the park and we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful you know what to do like share comment subscribe and tell me how much do you spend where you live every month and your family number I would like let's like leave a comment down below so that everybody could know how much they can spend or how much you're spending every month living in where they're living so you're living outside london how much do you spend every month i would like to know leave your comments down below and let's chat bye guys